Are we filming? Yes, yes, we are. So, mail time, mail time. Um, I've just got back and uh, I haven't even got my coat off because I'm so excited about what's in here. It's not that exciting, but I'm always excited about parcels. So let's let's do this first one, which is uh, which is probably the uh, the least exciting. We'll start with the least exciting. Okay, so uh, what have we got in here? Okay, well we have some more of these. I've now got. Um, I just I just needed to buy. Um, I just needed to buy a few more of these because they're going to be in my in my test rig, and uh, I'm a little I'm a little bit worried that they'll they'll go up in price. So uh, basically, papermate uh, papermate uh, fountain pens. Uh, I like these. I've I've had some experience of writing with these, and they're they are. Um, well, they are they are they are what you see. They are a cheap fountain pen with a cartridge. Don't use the cartridges, but I'm using this as a dropper pen for my test rig, my ink testing rig. So there we go. Um, they are they are what they are, which is just a just a cheap uh, around just over a pound uh, fountain pen. So, what have we got in here? Um, I always end up... I always end up opening them uh, in the most obscure way, but let me show you what I've got in here. Okay, so I have some Pelican... some Pelican ink. Box looks like it's been sort of seen better days, but that's... That's no big deal. Um, thirty millimeter, thirty milliliters of Pelican Kingfisher Royal Blue ink uh, to add to my collection. I've not tried any Pelican ink before, so I'm keen to keen to find out. What else have we got here? Some. I don't know how you pronounce this. This is uh, Jacques Herbin ink. They've been going a long time, haven't they? Um, but I wanted a... I'm, I was interested in some kind of orange ink. So we have orange Indian or Indian. Not sure how you, uh, how you pronounce it. But um, again, 30 millilitres made in France. And what I like about these is you actually have a pen stand on the ink bottle. Isn't that a clever idea? Now, I don't know. Um, I don't know how far back Jacques Herbin goes, but I, I bet it's similar to Diamine, i.e. goes back probably to the 19th century. But I just think that this pen stand on the bottle of the ink is a is a wonderful thing. Isn't that good? Anyway, um, little things please, little minds. But uh, we just have one further thing, which is something probably appropriate under the circumstances, since I'm going to be doing a lot of paper testing. Is uh, some blotting paper, a few ten sheets of blotting paper, uh, which uh, which will come in very useful. Um, but there's something else. It wasn't in the mail. I actually went to my local TK Maxx store. Now, probably a lot of you will already know that TK Maxx does does sell a strange assortment of all sorts of things. I suspect whatever they can get hold of cheap as a as a job lot. I don't know. I may be wrong. Um, but I I was in there the other day. And uh, I was having a coffee with a friend and I just snipped into the TK Maxx store and got this. It's not A4 and it's not A5. It's the, that that moleskin size that is between the two sizes. Um, and I, I bought this, I think it was £6.99 here in the UK. Uh, if you compare that to 
this moleskin in the moleskin store. I mean, it's uh, it's a lot more than that. Um, and I, you know, I don't need it. I don't really need it. But it was just sitting there on the shelf, sort of beckoning me and uh, enticing me to uh, take it to the uh, to the to the uh, checkout desk. <laughs> and I succumbed. Um, whether or not I'm going to uh, use it in anger, I don't know. One thing I uh, I did notice, though, was there is some damage to the... I don't know whether you can see that, but there is definitely some waviness to the to the pages as if there's been some moisture damage. That's You can probably see it there. There's definitely some waviness. So this is not for... You know, I can't I can't do anything with this, but I'm not really bothered about the fact that the paper is wavy. Um, interestingly, there is nowhere on here that tells me, at least in the book, what the GSM is on this. Um, but this this I will uh, this this book will be subject to my ink tests very shortly. And although I've got moleskins in A5, well, but you know the moleskin version of A5. And uh, the Moleskine version of A6. Um, I don't have one of these. And so uh, there is this thing, isn't there, with Moleskine at the moment, where people are reporting that the quality of the paper varies, not just from book to book, notebook to notebook in terms of size, but also years as well. It's a bit like vintage wine has have has good years and bad years so there is uh, a variation in the quality of the paper with moleskins whereas with um some other some other notebooks the, the paper is more consistent but i know there's a a, a big following with uh, with moleskin uh, notebooks i do like the form factor and they feel good in the hands and I don't know. I don't, I don't really. I'm not that much of a fan, but I am. I am a little bit of a fan, so I'm sure that I will find some use for this. But uh, we'll 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 do the pen test and we'll do the ink test at some point in the future. Anyway, so uh, a TK Max purchase. I might actually buy a few more uh, because they had some interesting notebooks from other manufacturers. Uh, so I might uh, I might pop in there now and again, but anyway, that is my that is my uh, new. Those are my new purchases for today. Thanks very much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.